sexually transmitted infections are common among all young people across Australia. It's important that um, young people are tested or come in and get themselves tested um, because all our stats show us the majority of STIs are, per are present in 15 through to 34 year olds. While STIs are common among all young people in Australia, unfortunately, they are even more common among Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander young people. Did you know, nationally, chlamydia is three times more common, gonorrhea is six times more common, and syphilis is up to seven times more common? There are lots of reasons that this is a worry for our communities. The majority of the STIs are asymptomatic, meaning they have no idea, they're not giving off any signs, any symptoms you're not getting any warnings or any triggers that something is wrong inside you. For example, up to 75% of people with chlamydia have no signs that they are sick. If you do happen to get some signs, those signs might be pain in the lower belly for women, pain when peeing, sores or warts on sex parts, or discharge or pus from sex parts. Well, you're right, order. I'm panning, bro. What do you mean you're painting? I don't know, you're burning my head, bro. STIs are also a worry because they can stop us from being able to have children. It's the damage that the STI can do, you know, in, internally to them. The big thing is infertility, you know, not being able to have any gorgeous little babies anymore. Um, and I think that would be the biggest tragedy, full stop. And sadly, if a pregnant woman has an STI, it can hurt the baby. It's not a matter of just jumping in bed and popping babies everywhere. You've got, to, you've got responsibilities too. And babies can get sick too from this disease, very sick. They can learn that too. Or baby can pass away, you know? If this thing's not, when they get fixed, if this thing's not treated. That's why it's important all pregnant women get tested multiple times during pregnancy for STIs and bloodborne viruses. Condoms are the best way to prevent STIs. We talk about the fact that if you're going to have sex with one person, you need to make sure that you're safe and that they're safe and whose responsibility is it? So we have all those conversations and the fact that um, condoms are probably are the most effective way to stop STIs. It's not just about stopping pregnancy. If we all use condoms and get tested regularly, we can help reduce the rates of STIs. Testing for STIs is really easy and it's free and private. I need you to penis. It's okay, you can do it in the bathroom in private. Thanks for that. Well, so we'll see you back in a week for results. The trick is easy if you need it, and uh, you did a great job today, you were very brave. Thanks for coming in. I did have some tests, yes, um, and to be honest, on the inside I was embarrassed and um, a little bit uncertain of their reactions and stuff, but you know, at the end of it, I think to myself, it went so quick, why didn't I, why didn't I do it more often? It was easy. Treatment is available to get rid of most STIs. Testing is really important. Because if you're not getting the testing and if you're going around with more people, then it's just spreading and, um, you know, it starts with you. Getting tested and treated helps to stop STIs spreading in our communities. Wait, were you safe about it? I didn't think I had to, so we didn't do anything about it. Um, maybe we should go for a checkup, Just in case. Yeah, just in case. Okay. Will you guys come with me? Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Okay, thanks. <laughs> to stop the spread of STIs, partners need to be tested and treated too. We're, we're at a point where we're doing fantastic things in society. We need to be elevating people, empowering it, each other, and that's where this comes in, because empower yourself by getting the check. Put a stop to it. It's the only way these outbreaks can end. It's up to all of us to work together and do our bit. Together, together we, we can, can stop, stop. STIs and BBBs. <laughs> <laughs>